from the public helped lead to Bagley's arrest, and now authorities are hoping for more tips to find a suspect accused of forcing his way into a man's home, then assaulting him. The victim suffered a collapsed lung and broken ribs. NBC4's Carrie Charles has more in this week's Warrant Watch. A shooting at a downtown Columbus nightclub in June claimed the lives of two security guards. Bullets also struck two other people. In late August, a U.S. Marshals Task Force arrested the suspect. Weeks before that arrest, the team tracked the suspect in a different case to a house in Lima. The man accused of kidnapping an ex-girlfriend not once but twice. During the initial incident, he escaped from police. Tips from the public were critical in making these arrests happen. Any tips we get, we act on them immediately because those tips are only good for so long. That expiration is quick, um, so we have to act on them. They're committed to tracking. They, they don't give up. Marshal Michael Black hopes tips will help his team solve this week's warrant watch. The federal agency and Columbus police want to find Ryan Burleson. He's charged with aggravated burglary. According to court documents, the 32-year-old is accused of forcing his way through a partially open door opened by a man inside. It happened Tuesday, July 16th, around 5.30 in the morning near South High Street and Williams Road. Once inside, investigators say Burleson got into a physical altercation with the victim, picked him up, and slammed him down into a wooden table. He caused serious injuries, put this uh, individual, this victim in the hospital for over a week before he was released. Marshall Black tells me Burleson lives on the streets of Columbus. It's easy to spot him. He has several tattoos on his face, including a number seven on his forehead. If he's homeless, that, that means it's even more important for us to get tips from the public um, so we can help locate and identify where this individual is so we can get him off the streets before he hurts somebody else. With this week's Warrant Watch, I'm Kerry Charles, NBC4. If you know where Ryan Burleson is, investigators want to hear from you. Here's another look at him. Again, investigators believe Burleson is unhoused. They say he could be anywhere in the city. You can scan the QR code on your screen to contact the U.S. Marshal Service with your tips. We'll link to more information for making a tip online and the agency's contact information. Remember, all tips can be made anonymously.